Hello everyone, it's Ben Frenzy, and the pictures have officially been revealed for the Batman sets, and really happy about them. I mean, my most of my predictions were right, which is actually really cool. So, now that we have pictures, I will talk about my opinions. But before that, I want to thank Ash and Flash and Promo Bricks for the announcement and the pictures, so... Thank you guys because this video would not have been possible without you. And also, I apologize that a couple of the pictures are cut off, but like not by a sig not like significantly obnoxious, and you'll still be able to see um, everything that you really would want would really care about. Whoa, what's this? An actual good four plus Batman set. Penguin Pursuit is actually has quite. A few things to be excited about. So, it's a fairly simple build, but the figures are and vehicles are actually really good and pretty happy about them. So, the figures here: Batman and the Penguin. Pengu Batman is the same as the last ones, I think, but with the the new cape piece. The Penguin is in fact an exclusive figure and. His torso and face expression are actually pretty good. Probably prefer the 2006 to 2008 Penguin, but this one's still good too. So here's Batman's cape piece, and hopefully it won't be annoying to put him in the boat. But the bat boat actually looks pretty good, and so does the Penguin's vehicle. And they honestly look like two things I could actually use. Maybe not the bat boat as much, but the Penguin's little duck thing, definitely. Joker's Trite Chase is definitely an interesting set, and it's really nice because you get two different vehicles. Well, for one for the good guys and one for the bad guys, plus a small motorcycle for Damien, which is great to have because an extra motorcycle is nice. And for figures here, the same Batman, almost the same Damien, but not quite. And Harley Quinn has... Obviously, that's the four plus Arkham Asylum face and hair, but the other than that, the figure's exclusive, but sadly, the Joker is not, which is disappointing. As you can see here, we get actually two different cape pieces in addition to the one Batman has, which is really cool. So that's awesome. And here are some of the features. Joker's thing has a six stud rapid shooter, which uh, I was not a surprise to me. Batmobile has two stud sh shooters and also what appears to be a trunk, which is not a surprise, but I did not expect that at the same time. Also here you can see the six stud rapid shooter on the Joker's trike can aim backwards at the Batmobile, so that's honestly really cool. What's even cooler is the fact that as you drive this thing, the mouth will open and close. That is amazing. I mean, did not see that coming. I don't think anyone else did either. Just like the Penguin Pursuit set, I think that this is also going to be very exciting to get, but not nearly as much as the next set. And now for the agent's mobile command center. I mean, the mobile bat base for Batman is going to be really cool. Everything is great about this set. And considering that the, it looks to be like a remake of the mobile command center from agents. But since they're not, Lego isn't making agents sets anymore. They decide to do it in the form of Batman, which is a pretty interesting idea. The minifigures are kind of like, I feel indifferent about. I have mixed opinions of them. Batman's the same Batman. Batgirl, I wish we had like a mask piece as part of her hair like Batwoman did, but still not a bad version. Nightwing was rumored to be the red Nightwing, but that was not the case, which is sad because the rumor of the Joker being the same was true. I mean, what the heck? Mr. Freeze also seems the same, which is also disappointing. Bronze Tiger, a figure I don't really care about as much as other people do, but at least he's new. And Man Bat, I mean, like, White Man Bat, I mean, what? 
Honestly, why Lego? Why make a white man bat? I mean, like, I know he has been white in, like, the Batman TV show. He was grayish white. I, I feel like he was in, like, grayish white in one of the Arkham games, but, I mean, I've never played this, so I don't know, and... Yeah, so I I definitely the brown version is definitely better to me, but I mean I still might like the man bat figure. I mean like honestly, definitely wouldn't never use it in like bat like Batman scenes. But I mean I feel like I just might well grow to like it for just looking at cool rather than being an accurate version of man bat and while we're talking about man bat lego why is he still a bad guy make him a good guy he is not evil except when his serum backfires but that doesn't happen nearly as often as lego imagines it to be Okay, so the like the mobile command center, the bat base does open up to have an interior, and it has a bunch of vehicles. There are also the two new cape pieces, which are also nice additions. So here's the interior of the bat base, and you can see it's filled with like weapons. There's dynamite, some the sticks for Nightwing, a stud shooter, and some tools. So that's pretty cool. Batman also has like a miniature bat computer and his special chair, which if you see there are gear, gear pieces, so that can turn around, so cool. Also noting is the jail cell, like yes, I was right about that prediction. You can see here that the I was also right about the breakable wall, so awesome. And my prediction about the motorcycle or some other vehicle being hidden under these, this back part of the truck was also true. That motorcycle does come out from the back. I never talked about this in my v video, but I, I there did kind of wonder if there was going to be a the cockpit thing would be a vehicle or not but it was it's a detachable plane and now or battling or whatever but that that does not surprise me at all what does surprise me is that this is this genius design has is able to store a quad bike in it now that is amazing that they got that extra vehicle in well without like compromising the design of the this particular vehicle Honestly, I might have actually overlooked this part without Ash and Flash's uh, like acknowledgement of this. So, thanks to Ash and Flash again. But this jet ski actually comes out from the front of the truck. And that red lip button thing I was talking about in my other video was... Lego kind of did a good job concealing that part under uh, official pictures. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I think that... But tinting actually is used to deploy this jet ski, and if you can see, there's a ball joint at the back of the truck, which I think is going to be for detaching the truck itself from the, the back trailer. So, that's it. I mean, like... That's, like, everything we've got. I mean, like, I'm uh, really impressed with all three of the sets. Like, the uh, Penguin Pursuit set, like, there's simplest The builds are simplistic, obviously, but good Penguin figure and the builds actually still look good. So, and it's only $10, so that's, you're definitely going for it, and I really like it for that reason. Joker's trike chase to be honest the Batmobile I'm not too excited about people are because I think it, they also said it was from the Arkham games I, I, I might have said the wrong video game but whatever but the Joker's trike is definitely good and considering they didn't get many bad guy vehicles last year we got the Riddler's helicopter which is great and also Clayface who isn't really a vehicle but despite what everyone says that Big big figure for Clayface last year was amazing. Kind of sad that they are going with Damien for Robin again. I mean, I get he's the current Robin, but I would honestly want get want Tim or maybe even Jason Todd. But whatever. 
The mobile bat base is definitely going to be one of my favorite sets when I get it. I might even like it more than the Bat Cave Clayface Invasion set, which I like a lot. The minifigures aren't like the main attraction to me. I mean, like, yeah, it's great getting a Batgirl figure not from the Lego Batman movie, and Man Bat is Man Bat, so I'm going to like him either way. Mr. Freeze and Nightwing, like, whatever. I, I just, for some reason, like the 2006 Nightwing better. I know it's outdated. I just really like it. And Mr. Freeze, I have the same figure, but better from last year because it has the backpack thing, but this new one does not. Anyways, I know the Mobile Command Center from Agents is a really good set, and I know this Mobile Bat Base one will definitely deliver, and may, probably definitely will be better than the old one. Honestly, when it does come out, I'll probably even make a comparison video comparing the Mobile Bat Base and then the 2008 version of the Mobile Command Center. Alright, that's it for me, so... Now it's your turn to tell me and everyone else who watches these videos what you are looking forward to or maybe not looking forward to in the comments section. And thanks for watching and I hope you liked my video. I liked making it and wash your hands and have a great day.